that they created with some really tough serving. Um, and so, yeah, um, I have a lot of respect for UTSA. They left everything on the floor. Um, amazing defense, showed a ton of heart. Um, it was inspirational um, to, to watch as a coach, and I know our team was inspired by it too. And we're just going to you know, use this momentum that we have going into tomorrow. Coach, talk about um, Anita's performance and how much she impacted this win. <laughs> um, Anita is such a special player. Um, she has done this multiple times, you know, just taken over at the net. And when she's on, it's very difficult to stop her. Um, and it's, it's her work ethic that has just sets her apart. Like she just is always up in transition. Um, you always have to focus on her. You always have to think about her. And even when you do, she's still going to find a way um, to, to beat you a lot of the times. Um, so I'm very, very proud of her. Um, she set the tone that, uh, and we were able to set, you know, our outside attackers. Um, and they had some gaps and a lot of that was because of both of our middles doing such a great job. And Anita, for you, I mean, you were a tournament MVP last year. It seems like you like playing in the postseason <laughs> on the stage. I mean, just talk about the match and kind of what you what you saw from your team today. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely happy to be out here, especially with my team. Doing it for my team, it's amazing. Our effort, our chemistry. I went and traded for the world, and to be <clears throat> to play against a very def good defensive team, and to challenge me, it was it was really good. So, coach, we saw them take North Texas to four yesterday. What makes UTSA so tough and stingy? Um, they really, uh, number one, from the service line, they were excellent. Um, they definitely attacked us with their serve, and we talk about that all the time in our gym, uh, that when we attack teams with our serve, uh, we have a lot of success, and they knew that they needed to attack us from the service line to get us out of system, and they, they executed it very well. Um, and then when a team is out of system, it puts them in a better position defensively. But I think what really stood out today was that when we were in system, they were still, we thought the ball was down and all of a sudden it's up. And then they're scrambling to make a play and then getting it back over. And then they sent us, I think, three free balls, four free balls in one rally. And we, we won it, but it, you know, when a team gets a free ball, you usually are gonna put that away. And we had great swings, great passes, and they just, they just, play with a ton of heart. They're, I thought their libero did an excellent job, and um, Hannah Lopez um, had a really good match too. Um, but yeah, I, I think their libero um, was really in the right place a lot of the time. She was good. And a quick turn around to another top-ranked team tomorrow for mm -hmm. the championship. What are, what are your thoughts going into tomorrow's match? Um, I have a lot of thoughts about the match, but I think that I'm, I'm just happy too that you know, we're going to battle Western Kentucky, another top 25 team. Um, it's going to showcase how strong Conference USA is. Um, to have two teams in the top 25 battling for the championship is is just, you know, the way that you, you want it to be. Um, we want to play the best competition and, and um, earn that championship. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna give it our best. I mean, we're definitely gonna put it out, all out on the floor, and I expect nothing less from them. And last question from me: Nicole Lennon getting her 1,000th career dig. Talk about her impact on this program, hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Nicole Lennon is. <laughs> I mean, this is an all-American. Like she is um, a complete player. Um, she even you know she was player of the year last year, and she improved her statistics from last year. Um, and that says something about her. You know, she puts in a lot of work. Um, we have a great team um, to back her up. Um, and, you know, to know that she just got her thousandth dig, I mean, that just shows, like, she, to play six rotations, and she puts herself in a place to make plays, and she takes, I don't know how many jumps a game, and then she's also in the primary passing. She's, she's digging balls, and she just has um, really improved her all-around game, and um, she's at, she's at, uh, playing at a very high level uh, against um, any team we play. She's just so consistent. So um, she's been a huge part of our success. And then I just have one more question. Anita, just tell us what it's like to play with your team. Um, you guys look like you're enjoying yourselves out there, and um, I'm sure it's great to coach the team, but like, what is it like to be out there with all those girls? It's amazing. It's I haven't experienced anything like it. I thank God for it.
I really enjoy it. We all have our little bonds and we all always stick together, so it's amazing to get out there every day and now I'm playing with a group of girls like this. Awesome, thank you thank so you much all. for your time.